some fucking crazy, absolutely insane shit just happened in One Piece. And it's that crazy that I'm actually doing a chapter with you on it, yes. Um, so I don't know if I'll be doing any more, like, One Piece uh, videos. I've actually have been getting back more into One Piece for a while. I've been watching the anime for, like, a while now. And it depends as well, love, on your opinions. So whether you do, like, me doing uh, One Piece uh, videos, like, chapter reviews and, and maybe episodes of that, then I might do it, like, but... Either way, this was a fucking crazy chapter that you just need to know about. So anyway, it just starts off freaking pretty fucking busy with Bartolomeo defending Bellamy from uh, Darling Darlinger, Darlinger, like um, and he was just like he was just being a boss about using his fruit, like just defending Bellamy like that. And he was the one that got the order from Don Flamingo to get Bellamy killed. So it's like. Don Flamingo don't give a shit about him, like, Bellamy knows about that, but still, he's like, after hearing that, he's like, I've got nothing left to live for, he's like, they're crying, but Bartolomeo is saying, yo, you're a man, you are one who fought for your comrades, you know, I respect that, even I, and Scum was like, damn, Bartolomeo know how to pick a man back up from his feet, and it was just, that was a really fucking uh, emotional moment, I thought, I really got some fucking respect for Bartolomeo, since he, he always been doing is like, crying, and oh my god, this your hats, I love you guys, like that. But to see him having some more sick ass moments, I really like that. Then the whole, pretty much one of the beef parts of the chapter was with the toy soldier explaining their operation called SOP. Like, I was like, a very weird name. But its meaning is like the underground port that they have under Dress Rosa, where all the illegal trades, where like pretty much, you know, Don Flamingo gets his smile, gets all his like stuff down there, sorts all the stuff. And the toys are used as slaves. And pretty much, they've been digging a tunnel for over a year now, and they're going to use this and infiltrate and rescue them all from the tunnel. And pretty much, the way to turn them back is by just uh, taking out their member Sugar, who had the, I think it was called the Hobby Fruit, um, where it pretty much turns anyone into toys. And by either, like, knocking her on con unconscious or doing, like, anything like that, killing her, then this will be undone, and then everyone will have their memories back of that time um, when Don Flamingo just fucking betrayed everyone. So that's already great. We already got that plan. Robin, Frankie, and Usopp are going in, helping the toy soldiers and the dwarves take care of this. It makes me wonder what the others are going to be doing, you know, like whilst that time, because we've got, you know, we've got Nami, we've got Blook, we've got Chopper, we've got Sanji all on the ship dealing with Big Man. It's like making me wonder, can they really take on the fleet like that? While you've got like Zoro, like Zoro and Gideon and like Luffy as well outside. So it's, they are really separated and it seems like, you know, they've got a lot of shit to deal with with such, lo such low numbers of straw hats on each side. But once you see that, like when Luffy meets up with Bartolomeo, like trying to find the exit and he's like, Bartolomeo is saying, yeah, I'm going to show you away, but you know, I won't betray Don Flamingo. Even after all he said, like, it... Like, I won't de 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 betray Don Flamingo through that shit. And it's like, Bartolomeo was like, really, man? After all that stuff you just said? But he's got, he was sort of pride. I guess he didn't want to say that in front of Luffy. Yeah, I just tried to kill you a minute ago. So it's like, okay. But when you see, like, Bartolomeo was like, yo, I'll, I'll win the tournament for you, man. Don't worry, you go and sort your shit out, man. I'll sort out. And then the shadowy figure appears from him saying he knows Luffy and it's like, I think people know who the fuck this is, the way he's looking. Before I even get to that bit, I'll say the other bits of the chapter. But when you see, like, a little bit more Rebecca, I like that. You know, she's teaming up with, like, this big gladiator girl, like, saying, oh, you have to win, Rebecca. So I guess that was kind of cool to see a little bit more Rebecca. Because I do like to see Rebecca. I find she's an interesting character, this arc. Luffy escapes with Zora and Kinemon, dressed up as freaking fish and frogs and stuff. He's there crying. He's like, but I never thought he would be alive like that. And it's like, oh my god. And then meeting as well an old face, Koala. Fisher Tiger's little, the little slave girl that Fisher Tiger rescued is there. And she is a part of the revolutionaries. I was like, what? So, and she was saying, oh, I can't wait to see Robin. I really want to see her. It's like, so I'm taking that. During that time, Robin was with the revolutionaries. I guess, like, she knew her for a while in that time skip. So maybe they might be close or something. That's what I'm guessing with that. That looks like a sick. Apparently, as well, she knows Fishman Karai as well. Which is strange, because this is the first um, human we know 
that actually knows fish from the crowd. So maybe she learned that from Fisher Tiger, like maybe something like that. That's what makes me uh, wonder that. But the chapter ending, thinking that guy was dead and he holds it against him. Mother fucking Sabo. Sabo is fucking back. If that is not here, it's like, it's everything they're confirming it. If this is like some fake, that would be bullshit. No, Oda, he's freaking hinted it all this time. I can't fucking wait. Sabo is back in the series. He's a part of the revolutionaries. And even as well, he was just hinting to it, saying, you know, oh, like, um, you met him, you found him already, that's great. It's like, did you cry and stuff? And he's like, no, I wouldn't possibly cry. And... It was just also him saying, you know, even if you were there, what could have changed? So I'm guess they're referring to Ace's death, like d uh, during Marineford, like, uh, and it still goes to the question: Why could Sabo not have done that? Like, why was he not there? Was it like revolutionaries like stopping the dragon person saying, no, fuck, you ain't going? Like something that happened like that. Overall, that's probably the biggest like in One Piece chapter of the year. Like, but that was fucking a cr cr crazy chapter. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if I should continue doing One Piece, like I have the entire big three to do now as mangas, if we do have One Piece on there. But that's all for me. I want to thank them for watching. Remember, Strata Panda, Sana, and I'll see you guys next.